Uh, here, look, people in our business uh, are advised not to uh, question the media. Uh, it's uh, um, something like putting your head in the lion's mouth and the media, of course, of its very nature, will always have the last word. But uh, I would like to see a debate here in the Chamber on the online uh, newspaper business. And in particular, um, the manner in which online newspapers provide a facility for nameless anonymous commentators to be very critical, sometimes quite abusive, of politicians in general. Now, many of these uh, uh, newspapers we read with interest. The best known one, I suppose, is the journal. I read it regularly. It provides a very good service, very informative, very interesting, and some very good articles by the main contributors. But it also allows a facility for people, as I say, nameless, anonymous individuals to, um, to uh, comment freely uh, from the safety of total anonymity so, uh, on not just politicians but people in general. Now, I think myself that there should be some form of registration uh, and identification uh, expected from people who want to do this. Uh, Print newspapers are quite happy to print letters from the public and, and of course we all welcome that. But no respectable newspaper will allow a letter to be printed, critical of any politician or anybody indeed, unless that person provides a name and an address. And that's as it should be. But these kind of anorak type bloggers that appear all over the place on whatever is the issue of the day uh, and as I say, sometimes their comments can be verging on the abusive uh, in terms of their language and their criticism, personal criticisms of people's appearance and so on and so forth. I'd like to have that debated and I would like to see the, um, the, the journals in question participating in that debate and outlining what their view is uh, as to the future of that type of anonymous commentary that they seem to be facilitating at the moment. Margaret.